I'm excited to share with you the steps in the process to buying a house in this video. It's going to save you a whole lot of money. It's going to simplify the process and most importantly it's going to show you exactly how you can buy a house just like this one for only a thousand dollars out of pocket. I'm also going to share with you the biggest mistakes that home buyers make when they purchase any property and most importantly what you need to do to avoid making those same mistakes. Now you may be one of the thousands of people around the country that have never purchased a house and quite simply it's because you haven't been informed to the process and the process of purchasing a house hasn't been simplified for you. I'm here to change all of that. My name is Wayne Turner for nearly 30 years. I've helped thousands of people purchase homes and many of those homes have been purchased for only a thousand dollars out of pocket. So I'm going to show you exactly what to do, how to do it, and most importantly the mistakes that you don't want to make. So give us a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, I promise you, you will learn something new on every video. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is check your credit. Why? Because you need to make sure your credit is a 620. That's the threshold of which a mortgage lender needs your credit to be in order to give you a loan. But here's what's really cool, and you can use any lender, but the lenders that we use actually have this thing called a simulation process. They can pull your credit for you and look at your credit. If your credit score is below 620, the simulation process is a software can take your information, they put it in the computer, how much money you make, how much debt you have, what your credit card balance is, and it will tell you exactly what you need to do, what you need to pay off, what you need to pay down, what you need to do with that student loan, that hospital bill. It will show you exactly what you need to do to get your credit score to a 620 or higher in the next 60 days. How cool is that? Now, if you need help with a mortgage lender, we can certainly help you with that. You can go to contactwing.com. Also, if you need a real estate agent in your hometown, we have a team of people all around the country. As mentioned, I've been doing this for a long time, so we can certainly help you with that. There's no cost and no obligation to use anybody. You can use your own, but if you need help, we can certainly help you with that. But once you're approved for the process, it's that point that you need to find an agent and work with an agent to find you a house, because you've got to know this. Once you find a house and you're approved, you can literally close on your new home within 30 days for only $1,000 out of pocket. Now, I know we say we simplify the process, but here's how we simplify the process. We have a team of people that actually help you with the process. If you have a good agent, a good lender, once you're approved, we take care of pretty much anything. We show you the property, you tell us what you want to make an offer for. But you gotta know this, once you're approved for a loan, the lender's gonna give you what they call a truth in lending statement. It's gonna show you exactly to the cent what it's gonna cost you out of pocket to close. Now, here's what's really important. With these types of loans, this is a USDA loan, United States Department of Agriculture. They guarantee the loan. So you have two years on the job, bank statements, paid your taxes, show proof of income, 620 or higher score, you can purchase houses just like the one I'm standing in. For example, this is a three bedroom, two bath house. It's been completely remodeled. It's in Slidell, Louisiana for $204,900. You can purchase a house just like this. Your mortgage payment on a home like this will run you about $1,900 a month. Now, if you like these videos, you feel like you're getting value, if you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. It lets me know that what we're producing and what we're sharing with people is actually bringing value to people like yourself. Now, once you find that house and you make an offer to purchase it, you're gonna make an offer. That seller, if it's not a full price offer that you're offering them, they're gonna counter offer, of which you don't have to accept that counter, you can counter them back. And that may go back and forth a couple of times until everybody's happy. But here's the biggest mistake that people make. You're negotiating 10 to 15 to five, $20,000. You have to know this, at today's current rate at 6%, Every $10,000 that you borrow for a home loan is gonna cost you $60 a month. So, so oftentimes people get caught up in the $10,000 or the $15,000, and I get it, that's a lot of money, but go with me here, that's, that's $60 a month. So if the house is in the school zone you like, the district you like, the square footage, the bedrooms, the baths, your family likes the house, but you're like 10 to 15,000, don't do what I call stepping over a dollar to pick up a dime, meaning that that $10,000 is only gonna cost you $60 a month. And if you take that $10,000, it's not out of your pocket, you're paying that over 30 years. If you take the $10,000 and divide 60 into it, that's 14 years. It's gonna take you 14 years. Chances are, as the average home that people live in, is only about seven years now. More than likely you have already moved and only paid half 
if that much, of the $10,000. Now, once you have that offer accepted, what you're gonna do is have the home inspected and your real estate agent can refer you to home inspectors or you can find one yourself. But bottom line is you have what they call a due diligence period. It's anywhere from seven to 14 days and you can have the home inspected. The roof, the central heat and air, the water heater, absolutely everything. At that point in time, you'll wanna see a copy of the survey, you wanna walk the property, you wanna do all of that due diligence. Your agent will help you with that. Once the home is inspected, the inspector is gonna give you a full report. Those things are like 80 pages. They go through every single thing on the house and they're gonna show you exactly what needs to be fixed, what's not working to its intended function. And at that point, you and your agent go through the list and you can ask the seller to fix those items before you take ownership of the property. The seller may say, no, I'm not fixing those items, at which time you don't have to buy the property. The also, the seller may say, well, I'll fix only half of the items or only a selected few of the items. But you can counter that. So you've got to know you can go back and forth on those repairs so you know that once you do that home inspection, and listen, never buy a house without a home inspection. It gives you peace of mind so when you lay your head on the pillow at night, that first night you own that home, you know that it's been inspected, it's gone through, the repairs have been made, and everything is A-OK. -okay. Now it's also important to know that you can purchase a house and have the seller purchase for you a home warranty. The home warranty is gonna cover all the major components on the property, the water heater, the appliances, the central heat and air. So if anything goes wrong with the property, you can send out a service company, they'll fix the property. It only costs you $100 out of pocket to do that. I put those on all of my properties. I think it's great to do that. It just kind of gives you more peace of mind knowing that you don't have to spend seven or $800, thousand dollars to replace a part or a component on your central heat and air or a water heater for example. Now even though you have the property inspected what you'll also want to look at during your due diligence period is have the property surveyed or get a copy of the survey. You have to know that surveys and oftentimes homeowners don't have a survey they're like I don't really know the property ends over there and begins over there but you can actually go to your city county your parish, your Registered of Deeds office and get a copy of that. Your agent can do that for you. A lot of that information in most counties, parishes is online so you can actually see. Now I always advise walking around the property and making sure you know the meets and bounds and where your property is going to begin and end and most importantly to know that no one is encroaching upon your property because if there's a storage building or a fence or a shed or anything from a neighbor you want to make sure that the homeowner that you're buying the home from gets that taken care of so you don't have to do it after you purchase their home. Now the next step in the process is to have the property appraised and that's something that the lender does and that's where that other money comes in. So when I say $1,000, it's typically around $800 to $1,000. You're gonna to have to have four to $500 to have the home inspected. You're also gonna need $400 to have the home appraised. Now the lender's gonna take the $400 from you and they're gonna hire the appraiser to come out and appraise the property. That appraiser is gonna look at the comps, comparable sales in the area. They'll go back six months within the three mile radius as close to the home that you're purchasing as possible. The reason why they do that is they wanna make sure that you're not overpaying for the home and they're not over lending for a piece of property. That appraiser will go out and appraise the property and that typically takes anywhere from five to nine days. Once that's done, you're on your way to closing. It's just a matter of days away before you sit down and sign the papers for your new home. Now, between the time the property's being appraised and you go to closing, your lender's gonna reach out to you and say, hey, do you have an insurance person? Cause you're gonna need homeowner's insurance on the property. You're also gonna wanna line up your utilities, your water, your gas, your phone, your cable, all of that stuff. So you're gonna wanna transfer those. And that's when the coordination comes between you, your agent, and the seller and their agent and everybody works out the details so there's not a break if you will and or a shut off in utilities that will cost you more money you want to make sure that you can actually transfer the utilities out of the seller's name and into your name so look the moral of the story is this if you've got a good team of people you got a good lender you got a good agent they're going to help you and work with the whole process for you and 99 percent of the time you can buy a house and it's only gonna cost you $1,000 out of pocket through these USDA loans. So get approved, once you're approved, you gotta find an agent, find an agent, find a house. Once you find the house, make an offer, negotiate the price, negotiate the repairs. The appraiser comes out, looks at the value of the property. And at that point, you're headed to closing. We make the process simple. 
it doesn't have to be that hard and it doesn't have to be that difficult to purchase a house. And most importantly, I always tell people, you work so hard, you work too hard not to own your own home. So if you have any questions, any concerns, you need someone in your area, once again, go to contactwayne.com. We can connect you with an agent and a lender in your area. And until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. And most importantly, God bless you.